Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series as we continue to tackle and conquer Alaska. Last time out, things went pretty well, if I say so myself. Um, whether we get a run of that today, I really don't know. But it, we had a productive time last time out. Gotta try and get the Royal out of here. We had a good day, so today will be the day we continuously roll the royal, I guess. Um, what we want to do, what I want to do is, um, it was running a, no, more parts, more parts, there we are. So we're going to go to the uh, service site here, pick up four drilling spare parts, um, should be nice and easy, up and over, and down. Now that we've cleared that pipe, and that was sort of the big reason for doing the pipe. We'd already done a lot of the other deliveries, and just going around the edge made more sense with them, in my head anyway. It went well, so I'm not going to grumble about it. Is there a service trailer or anything up here? No? Nothing? Why do we think there was a service trailer up here? I don't know. Right. Anywho, let's go get these parts. And it's not a lot of weight on the Royal now. Uh, so, you yeah. know, rolling is now a risk. The Royal is better when it has a bit of weight on it. Because it's not so bouncy then. She's such a bouncy girl. <laughs> Um, why in my head can't I think of where I want to go? Um, I'm going to go the safe way. I'm not going to go left. I'm going to, yeah, not going to go right. I'm going to go left. I don't particularly want to take the bouncy royal down the bouncy track. It's too much bouncy. So as always, thank you very much for uh, coming back and um, supporting the series, supporting the channel. I think we're doing quite well at the minute with um, getting through on this series. Like I say, it is pretty much, you know, the only thing that's being recorded at the minute until we get some sort of definite resolution on um, YouTube and getting back into the partner program or not. By now. Because I'm recording these way ahead. By now, we should be hopefully doing some FS25 live streams. So uh, if you if you watch them or join them, and you come here as well, thank you very much. I don't know. I may even be streaming over on Twitch. So we could be we could be doing a little different things. Um, I'm recording this one a little over a month ahead. Um, I've got. I'm hoping, I'm going to say I've got, I've got a bit of time this weekend, so I might even have a stream, um, what would that be, 18th, 19th of October, I think this, the, this coming weekend, so I may have a stream then, and just sort of give more of an update to people, um, with what's going on, I haven't posted a lot lately, in real time, um, just, you know, we had we've had a lot going on, and I'm you know like, just, uh, coming up words out. Still don't know what I say. Still feeling quite you know, <laughs> understand, low and melancholy with you know losing a father and stuff. So just just chilling on my snow I know it's just been really nice and quite relaxed and a little bit therapeutic. So that's why I'm doing it. If anyone's not sure why we're not getting anything else at all, this is this is like comfort food to me. This game, as well as comfort food, is comfort food to me as well. Um, so we want four of these. Let's check. Yeah, four of these. It's been nice. I've had um, a few guys in Discord 
messaging me, uh, checking in on me. Uh, Midwest farmer, I think it's message. I don't always terrible. I don't always message back every day, and don't don't think me rude. Uh, but Midwest farmer has been awesome. Messaged me a lot through the last sort of few months of stuff. So yeah, I appreciate you, mate. If you're watching this, I do appreciate it, and um, I do. I try and you know message back every time. He you know he's he's had bereavement quite recently, and um, so he, he sort of knows where I'm at. So I, I, I hope he doesn't take offence to my non-replies all the time. Uh, and Vinny as well. Vinny has messaged me a lot. Awesome guy. Love Vinny. Vinny's been with the channel such a long time. Um, pops in and out of the Discord for activity. He's another guy who's you know had had a lot going on recently, and sort of getting him getting his feet back on the ground again and getting his chin up about life so you know the fact that these guys have been through some stuff and are taking the time to just check in on me awesome awesome people and like I've always said that was the main reason although you know earning the pennies has been nice that was the main reason I started doing all this was just meeting people you know people with a similar mindset similar of a similar ilk I guess is what I want so yeah, it's been really great. So I do appreciate you guys and everyone else who has, you know, messaged and checked in. Uh, the Simbrit. Uh, Rod the Mod, for those who, who may know Rod the Mod and not Simbrit, but Rod the Mod, yeah, he's checked in on us quite a bit. Top Lokes, Top Lokes, a lot of them. I think Oivan's oh, Oivan Vinny. Oivan's probably the only one that watches this series though. Um, so we we'll restored crane. Yeah, we might we might try and deliver that next. That might be our next big job. We've, we've brought the uh, the dairy through, so we might as well use it. sort of damage have we got? I might... Oh dear. Yeah, I think I will. Let's move that back a bit. Just very quickly... Just do a little repair job on myself. Because we've had a few knocks. Although we do have some parts on us. It's nice to get them out of other things. Um, I forgot that we had our little um, toolbox. It's there underneath the crane. Well, that's our toolbox with our parts in. Did it have fuel in it? No, just parts. Right, now we can do it. It's delivered. Is it more parts to the warehouse? See if we can get something it's annoying the uh, the little markers. We'll have a little edit there for my uh, my screenshot. I think I think there is a do. I think I said this for a doable trail through there that then brings you up to there, but then it takes you. Around the back of the warehouse, not to the warehouse. I think we looked at that before for something else. Yeah, just grabbed a quick screenshot without the uh, the hood. And you can get some beautiful shots with snow. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful game. I've uh, tried to stay on top of sharing some of it on Instagram, um, mainly my console um, playthrough. So if you want to see where I am and what I'm doing on that one, if you're if you're a big SnowRunner fan and you want to see that, you check out my Instagram. There's links down in the description. Um, I do put some on there, and any other games that I might play or other stuff as well. You never know. I, I, I flit so in and out with Instagram. I've deleted Twitter. That's gone. That went ages ago. I just end up arguing on there. 
<laughs> this should probably delete Facebook for the same reason. <laughs> Can't help it. Gets me through my day sometimes. A little light hearted debate. I felt like it was running away from me then for a bit. another 13 not a lot for that one that's a pretty simple one uh thanks for your neat so thanks for your neatness of all these cargoes let's go up to the next one okay shall we let's um i'm gonna turn my engine off I'm trying to get trying to get good at that um lumber mill supplies okay so another one has opened up upon us so there they want metal beams, one metal beam, one small pipe. So if we go get metal beam spare pipe to, I reckon we do metal beam spare pipe to fuel in one run, I think. So we're going to accept that. It is metal beams from here, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Okay. So what do I want? Small pipes. Uh, da, 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 da. I thought we were going to do something else, but it's unlocked uh, another nice little one. Well, it's not a nice little one, it's a, you know, a sizable one. So I want small pipes again, I keep forgetting. Yes. Uh, we can get the two fuel. Small pipes, fuel metal beams, service parts. Just check. Don't get any of any of that stuff, do we? No. Nope. All right. metal beams from the factory, aren't they? Oh, wrong key. <laughs> Come on, lad.
busy busy in the BM you'll love to see it or I do anyway a sense of progression and again spending quite a bit of time in a truck that maybe I wouldn't always spend a lot of time in as much as I like it I say she's a little bit rolly So managing her a little bit different, get things done. I said it was a good few episodes ago now. I want to try and be in the Royal as much as possible, for as long as possible. So not to maybe not to need to even bring another truck through. I think we will for login, but we'll see. Sometimes I'm a little bit partial to uh, paying for trees to be loaded. We will get our anchor out for this. How many is it? Two. I'm probably going to get the service parts and squeeze on and do as well. Might do that. How many service parts is it? Oh, it's four. No, we won't. We won't, I don't think. It's a fair few bits of service parts in it. I think I could nicely balance three of them on the top. Is it asking too much of me? Is it asking too much? Oh yeah, it's asking too much of me. We'll just, we'll be safe. We'll be safe. We could get our metal beam though, I think. And put on here. This is only going to go across the road, hasn't it? That'll be the way you do it. That's the way to do it. Should come over all right. That's a big part of why getting the um, the pipeline back up is important when first getting here. If not, you do have to constantly do the loop. As that just, just allow it, it works. Well, puts in an, an extra part of the loop, doesn't it? Like instead of doing a horseshoe, you have got a circular route round, allowing freedom of deliveries also means you don't have to go into that central uh, warehouse or whatever that is that is a bit of a bizarre to get to and get out of with um, semi and the BM
So we can't. So, is it just going to stay there? <laughs> What's that all about? Thank you very much. Alright, let's, let's go get the. Uh, yeah, but this, if not. Um, yeah, central warehouse. It's a bit tight. So, once you got a bit of, once you got a, bit of a semi on. <laughs> It's a bit tight, so once you've got your semi on it, there's not a lot of wiggle room, as it were. Um, there, oh there. It's a much better phrase that could have been used there. Never mind. <laughs> the vulgarity of it, it's a trucking game. Alright. We've got to get in and out of there anyway, because we've got those four, is it three or four bricks in the river to go and pick up. That is a pain in the backside. Anything down in that bit of river is a bit of a pain in the backside. I don't think we've done the challenge that's down there yet, have we? What have we? Did I give it a go? I might have done. I don't think I did. I'll turn the engine off again. Service parts, yeah. So it's so bad, isn't it? Like, I don't know anyone who has a memory as bad as mine. It's, it's not in a care facility. And there we go. Hopefully that'll pack. Might not. <laughs> there they go. I think we'll go this way.
I don't think on this delivery it makes much different left or right. I think it's sort of the same, same distance. Have a splash. And then afterwards, we'll um, have a little look and see what other things got unlocked. So I forgot we unlocked some more contracts when we did the last one. So we'll see what else is about, see what's available here, or whether it all goes through elsewhere. It's been been quite a while since I was last in Alaska, so remembering all of it is a challenge for me. I can't remember what that say in the top right hand corner thirty seconds after looking at it, so <laughs> what we did two or three months ago or six months ago or even a year ago does not does not stick. Lumber mill supplies. Thank you. We appreciate your work getting those supplies to the mills. And that was another 3,300. 143 grand. We're getting there. We're getting there, boys and girls. So that is unlocked. It's a long way to the top. So it's. That's why. There. Right. Logs, 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 logs. That is White Valley. That is White Valley. So we're not worried about that. And I'm not going to be naughty and just sort of load things up and do. So that would be so easy, wouldn't it? Just to have it all there already. Um, so, Morrison's Mining. Service Hub at Reactivation. That's Pedro Bay. Concrete blocks and consumables. And that's right the other side of the map. Did we? In Pedro Bay. Did we get the bridge sorted? Dangerous route. That's the bridge, isn't it? All wooden planks. Which come from there. Um... And that is pipeline repair, which is two metal beams. And there are two metal beams on a trailer over here. I recall two metal beams on a trailer there. Let's get through to the pipeline. The best way to do that. Oh, we haven't done Morrison's landslide. What does that require? I'm not triggered it. I must have triggered it. Wooden planks. So it could. You can only um, reach that from this side, I think. Not sure if you can do dangerous route. Oh, you can do dangerous route on both sides. So that one's four. That one's two. So that's six. And I'm already here. Because there is nothing else other than um, the bricks in the river. Which I'm not a massive fan of. 
One, two. Is it three or four? One, two, three. It's just the three, isn't it? Yeah, three bricks. I might save that and do that on the way back through or something. So I'd like to do the Pedro stuff. Since we're at the, we're here anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. Then that'll allow me to get other bits opened up in Pedro, ready to go and do um, the service station, and we can then grab the large heavy trailer that needs to be pulled from there. It's just going to free us up with some more stuff. Wow. <laughs> that didn't go as I wanted to. Oh, I'll turn the bloody engine off again. Um, but that'll be because I was still in um, <laughs> rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive. So... Let's get these on. I'm having difficulties with my crane suddenly. What's going on? Annoyingly, we won't be able to move the fuel trailers in there because of our crane. So we'll just have to be mindful of that. Why am I pressing the wrong button again? What am I being an idiot for? It's because I was thinking about fuel again and getting all, getting all anxious. Worried about fuel, so let's waste some more. Right, lads, if you can pack that for me, that's great. Now, there is obviously a, a, a little um, sawmill in Pedro, but Oh. Since we're here, I just figure this is this makes more sense. I go and go one, two, bum bum. I hope. What I might do, I might get since that was kind of why I brought it through as well. I might get the load star to follow me through again um, crane
we've still got our A and K in there floating around as well, haven't we? Which we're not really going to use, I don't think. It's a shame because I do like the A and Ks, and I said this when we got them, but it's just that the a that A and K. Because it just has its own um, sideboard bed, you can't you can't switch it out. Can't do much else with it. Just I just find that one like one of the one of the least useful trucks. We'll keep it floating about because we might need it to help with a recovery or something. But that may be one that gets sold. To make way for fuel money, <laughs> for petrol money, for that gas money. There you go, covered everyone, all three of you. I don't know, do you think we can get there? Can we do without having to refuel? Let me have a little look. Where are we? Because there's a. Tr hmm. I'll have to come back for that anyway, so that's not going to count. Let's ignore my thought there. Ignore that thought process. Um, let me have another little look at Pedro. So we're going to come in. We'll deliver that. Bang, bang, done. We will come down and deliver to there. Bang, bang, done. We can come and get the gooseneck. We won't use the gooseneck. I'll, I'll attach to it. And then take the goods out of it because I don't like it. And then that can go all the way around to there to to fix that be that contract done so I think I think pull them we only moved it I thought we'd moved it um <laughs> we really didn't touch it um yeah I think we'll uh do that so I will I will bring the the load staff through Just for moral support. <laughs> One support vehicle. Shame there's not a dolly that you can purchase to use to pull a a lower or high saddle trailer with. Because then you could attach it not not to this, but to um, the royal. Like you have that on the back, and then go and attach to. You're gone, mate. There is another one. There is another one. Not to worry. And we are pulling a fair old bit with us. Plus, we've got this. And Pedro has so much fuel. It's crazy how much fuel Pedro has.
Right, no faffing, let's go. Let's just get the uh actually out of the way. Or in the way. Lights camera's action. I've spent a fair amount of time recently on uh, cola, <laughs> having to deal with the ice there. This ice is just a breeze. <laughs> okay, so... Is that not where we drop off? That isn't where we drop off. We drop off over there. So we've cleared that one. And then we can hack away again. So next up is Dangerous Route. Oh excuse me. Had a little had a little drink in the uh, in the load screen. Definitely need to be careful with the Royal now because we've got nothing. I mean, the Lodestar might be able to if we detach everything, but, but nothing really to uh, help on a rescue at the minute. If she decides to tip, hopefully she will. Sometimes you've just got to be slow and steady with her. Treat her right and she'll be nice and stable. Don't treat her right, and she'll be completely unstable and manic. You know. <laughs> oh dear. Heave along the way. So that gives us our bridge, our ways across. Uh, yikes, I had no idea things were that bad. We were down lucky no one was on it when it collapsed. The plank she brought in will help us reconstruct the bridge and get it working again soon. Thanking you. You are quite welcome. It's only a grand on that one, but never mind. Right. So, we have um, the fallen ting, which is over here. Which I'm probably not going to do right now because I want to go to this one, which is what do we keep saying it was called service help. There, uh, oh no, it's not service help. It is the um, Blackbird. Put one repair. There we go. So that's what we're doing, and there should be. <laughs> it doesn't say if there's anything. Oh, there is, yeah. Two metal. So we're going to go and connect to that, hopefully. And, um, I say take it the longer way round. Just because the BM will tip there. 
So I'd rather fight with the mud than do that. Personally. Saying that, I'll probably now hit the BM whilst trying to fight the mud. But I think that is a safer route for me. Me and my limited skill set. I think we'll probably only have enough time to maybe load up. I don't, I'm not sure if we'll get there and deliver. I know it's still dark, but we got that. Uh, we, we might do actually. That's about 12, 15 minutes I think left. Excuse me, do apologise. Maybe not. About the diff, the royal is um, somewhat slow, and since we've got chains and not mud snow tyres on, you sort of you cut in more rather than sort of drive and plough through. Just, just is how it is. Sometimes you might get a little bit better out of just having only the rear wheels because then you've got all the power going to them rather than trying to do it for all of them. I don't know. I'm trying to justify my fiddling about, really. <laughs> And what I could I could have just deleted this trailer, come here, unpacked, and then <laughs> repurchase this trailer. Because this is one of my naughty free ones. Because we're not allowed to sell them, and I will keep banging on about that for the next two years of trying to do this playthrough. But that's not even the main reason why I like using them. I like using them because with all wheel tyres. Or off road tyres, sorry. Oh, let's try and turn this a little bit. There we go. Just bump up on that pipe, that'll be fine. Oh. Come on. That's <laughs> just being annoying now. Okay, that'll do. Go 
because I I hate this gooseneck trailer. I don't know anyone likes using these. Horrid, horrid things, especially for cargo. Unless if you're just maybe moving a vehicle up the road for like speed or something, that's probably alright, but nope. Not not my cup of tea for a bit of fun, I don't think. Uh there. Probably have to put me Oh, don't do that. Try and warp another trailer in. I mean, there are there are no doubt there are probably people out there that absolutely hate the. I don't know why they would, but hate the the side build bed that I like to use, or the so, the semi flat bed that I like to use, and prefer to use uh, the side build bed. I mean, I was all about the side build beds until, and again, I've said this many times. I, I I watched a video and someone was saying about how it's just easier to. Uh, sometimes save yourself with the uh, semi-flat bed as opposed to the sideboard so that's that's why I tried it and changed over and I don't know it seems to be working out right for me here and in other saves and we shall just get rid of you Yep. Get out of the way. We don't need it. Now we're good to go. The, uh, the step deck trailer is quite a nice one it's, it's got um, really good clearance so it doesn't snag on anything but it's a bit wide it's a bit big and sometimes getting through these narrower roads and tracks it's not always easy but yeah I think that's probably for if there was a and we'll probably use them as we get to them but a wider open map and area step deck trailer would probably be uh, where we might where we might go what we might try an off-road one <laughs> if there is one of course if there's if there's a free one to use we'll have it not a fan of the big heavy trailers um, obviously certain certain vehicles can only pull them and certain jobs require them I'm sure certain certain cargoes as well require them so they will come into effect we won't just be forever pulling the little blue tra or the long blue trailer There was a different trailer pack that I was kind of hoping to use, um, but again, they're not free, and I don't really want to buy trailers again because I can't sell them back. I can't recoup any of that money, not even like fifty percent or twenty-five percent. And if you have to, you know, pay seven grand for a trailer, and then the job that you use it on only <laughs> only rewards you like three and a half, four grand. You're at a loss. Plus field. So. Not a fan of that. Speaking of which, we'll quickly run the uh, the load star down and top us up before we get going. Because I think we've got a, a boggy mud pit um, before we reach our destination. At least one. Um, which will burn fuel, so we've got to go for it twice. So 
Try and make sure I'm nicely out of the way. Oh, it's time. Oh, yeah, let's we'll see how far we get. Can't always get very far in four minutes, but we'll give it a go. Although I think we overran last time, and so we didn't start today until about half past seven anyway. A couple of jobs we can do in the map as well while we have it. It's like the lost cargo one that's over there, and I think there's something else as well. If we have to head back and get the parts. Know which one? Oh, I can't reach anyway. I'm not complaining now that I can't reach the one I want. I say they know which one I want. Come on, there we go. Too many gear changes annoy me. Lights are just so poor. Or lighting. That's the old pull your car jobby. We've already done that. Hence why there's no car. It's a Scout 800, will not it? Ski business. I think we got a mud pit before we get there. It's going to slow this down, but. Just check where we are. I mean, there is a route there, isn't there? But. Or not. We'll not stress over it. We'll not stress over it.
and smell it. You can smell success. We are running over time now, but we are so close. I'm trying to get the truck to move quicker, but it won't. It just will not move quicker. It's not having any of it. If anything, this decider is going to move slower. Oops, so we get. <laughs> uh, honestly, I swear the game hates me. Yeah, we could have just shot through there, I think, but that. That would have been slow. That would have definitely been slow. So we can drop off our beams. And there we go. Contract complete. Two and a half grand there. Brings us... Oh, we're nearly up to 150 grand. Love it. Plenty more money to be earned. Um, thank you. I don't have to tell you the agony of having a work crew standing around with nothing to do because of some bonehead in logistics you don't because that's me i am the bonehead in logistics but that is it for this one we overran by a few minutes i think but all is good uh we'll probably just do that little job next to us picking up the lost cargo and, and running that off to its drop off point and then we'll assess what we can do here if not we'll head back into uh mountain river and um get the uh, service site set up and running uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos come live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye